matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Both fighters are 28, with the same height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Magomed Agalada. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Berno Czech Republic, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Yuri Ganisa. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. He got him. I 
how's he gonna follow this one? Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses there with the left. And he connects with a... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh. And he comes through with a big knee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. Nice body kick right under the elbow. How about that shin? Excellent land by him there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he threw every part of himself into that strike. And everything's landing with so much power. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice body kick. Ten seconds to go in round one. And they separate. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. undisputed king of the 185 pounders the UFC middleweight champion of the world and how about the knockout to get the job done tonight ladies and gentlemen the referee Eve Levine has going to stop this contest at 48 seconds of round number two declaring the winner by knockout and still So you just heard it there from Bruce Buffer and still UFC middleweight champion. He had some doubters coming in. I would imagine he muted most of that noise with this effort. A record on repeat is what happens when this guy fights. Every time people say he's not going to be able